That is the second time in a fortnight. No morning paper. Well, it is Saturday. Well, that's no excuse. Perhaps the paper boy's having a bit of a lie-in. But surely it is half past nine. Well, you've only just got up. Yeah, I know that. I, I don't deliver newspapers, do I? Well, sit down and have some breakfast. Tuna, I've got nothing to read. Have some cornflakes. You can read the packet. <laughs> Jill, I like to eat breakfast and read my newspaper at the same time. I mean, it's one of the few simple pleasures I have left in life. Do you mean to say you enjoy reading the newspaper? Well, I just said that, didn't I? Well, you never sound as if you're enjoying it. I mean, you look at page one, and that starts you off about the government. Then by page two, you're on about the common market. And by page four, you're so angry you can't speak. We all have our own ways of enjoying ourselves. <laughs> and I like to keep up with current affairs, and it's impossible to do that without getting annoyed, unless you're some sort of lunatic. Ah, now that sounds like the letterbox. <clears throat> it's French. <laughs> I know it is French. I may, I may not know what it says, but I know it's French. Well, I wonder who's got our paper. Perhaps that is ours. What do you mean? Well, possibly the new common market regulations. <laughs> Started with us having to take French apples, now we've got to take French newspapers. <laughs> it's, that, it's that de Gaulle. He's, he's trying to take a lot of us over. De Gaulle? Hmm? Yep, General de Gaulle. He's always had it in for us. He's dead. Is he? Where does it say that? <laughs> He's been dead about ten years. Are you sure? Well, they buried him, so I hope he was. <laughs> I thought he was a bit quiet lately. Well, now you know the reason. Anyway, as a student of current affairs, I would have thought that you would have read about that. Well, how can I read about it when they don't give us the bloody newspapers? Oh, look, there's a number on it. This should have gone next door. Which side? You know, where the Wilsons used to live. What do you mean, used to live? Frank was offered a job in Saudi Arabia. I know that, but I didn't know he'd gone. Oh, yes, they went last Wednesday. They've let the house furnished. Oh, when, before Wilson went, did he happen to mention about my lawnmower? No. Oh, I lent it to him in the autumn when I, I left it in his garden shed all winter. Why? Well, because there wasn't room in ours, and I thought, well, we might as well leave it there until we need it next. Oh, well, I shouldn't worry. They've let the place furnished, so I expect it's still there. Hmm. What are the, what are the new people like? I haven't seen them yet. Why don't you take the newspaper into them? And that'll give you a chance to say hello, and then you could ask them here for a drink, and then you can inquire about the lawnmower. Yeah, well. Oh, Teddy! I'll just dry this up a bit first. <laughs> Did you see them? Yes, and it wasn't their newspaper. Well, that's probably just as well, seeing that you burned half of it. But I had to dry it quickly. <laughs> Under the grill? <laughs> but where else? Anyway, they said they ordered a Mexican newspaper and that twicked out the news agent to deliver a French one. Mexican? No. Are they Mexican then? No, but they've been living out there. Oh. Are they coming in for a drink? Yeah. Mm. Oh, good. What are they like? Well, it takes all sorts, doesn't it? <laughs> I hope they don't come just yet. I'm trying to get a mark out of this table. Mm -hmm. Oh, must be them. Oh, <sighs> Uh, this is my wife, June, Melinda and Tarquin. Hello, so kind of you do? to ask us in. Kind. <laughs> do sit down. Yeah. Um, I've got some cheese straws in the oven, if you'll excuse me just a minute. Now, what are we all drinking? Uh, do you have any tequila? Any what? Tequila. <laughs> Mexican tequila. Mexican tequila. No, I don't, I don't think we've got any Mexican. Well, it's the only one there is. It's made from fermented cactus juice. Oh, of course, yes. Well, I'll just have a look. Uh... <laughs> No, I, I don't think we've got any uh, tequila, uh, fermented uh, cactus juice. Um, we've got whiskey, um, gin, vodka. <laughs> Not frightfully keen on any of those. Mm. What, any ouzo? Pardon? <laughs> it's a drink from Greece. Ouzo. Yes. I think we're just out of that. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a little rum left from Jamaica. Uh, do you have any real ale? Where's that from? <laughs> From England. Real ale. Properly brewed beer. Free from chemicals and all that muck. Oh, no, we don't trust that stuff, no. <laughs> no, I've got a, a little sherry here from more than one country. <laughs> no, thank you. Ah. 
Well, wait a minute. Ah, what, a, what about some of this? Huh? Oh, what is it? Oh, it smells. Very good. Very good. Actually, it's something um, quite, quite different. Uh, I think we had it as a present from somebody. Oh. You've no idea what it is? No, the label's come off. Oh. Well, it smells like that stuff we had in Tahiti. Was it Samoa? Mm, you're thinking of Hawaii. Oh. Mm, I rather like that. I'll have some. Oh, good. good. Yes, why not? I'm trying to think what it was called. It began with a K. Kaka. Uh, no. Cuckoo? Or perhaps it was a P. A, a, a puka. Puka puka? No. Well, perhaps it'll come back when you had a sip. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Hmm. Here we are. Terry, hmm? what are you doing with that bottle? We're trying to find out, remember what it's called. It's furniture polish. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord. It smells all right. I'm sure it's that stuff we had in Hawaii. More than likely. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I mean, it's not really poisonous or anything. I make it up myself from methylated spirits, castor oil and vinegar. <laughs> Sounds pretty lethal to me. Does it work? In what way? <laughs> Does it polish furniture? Oh, yes, it's marvellous. <laughs> now, what are we all drinking? Well, we're on the furniture polish, actually. <laughs> Do sit down. Oh, thank you. There, there is a little uh, um, white wine from Yugoslavia, uh, if anybody fancies it. Otherwise, that's it. <sighs> Splendid. Yes, white wine. Love it. Thank God for that. <laughs> Cheese straw, anyone? Oh, I see. Ooh, they look delicious. Are they homemade? Yes. Yum, mm. yum. You must give me the recipe. <laughs> How are you settling in? Well, we're slowly uh, getting used to it. We find it difficult to get used to the altitude. <laughs> yes, Pearlie is rather high, isn't it? <laughs> they say it's very healthy, though. Well, we've come from Mexico City, you know. It's 7,000 feet above sea level. Mm, yes, I'm not quite sure how Pearlie, uh, how high, high Pearlie is. Do you know, June? Well, it certainly isn't 7,000 feet. No, no, but on a clear day, you can uh, see out over Croydon. Not from around here. <laughs> no, not from around here. But if you moved to more towards Wallingham Way and then looked out, then, then you could uh, look over Croydon. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> what are you talking about? God knows. <laughs> more cheese straws, anyone? Yes, yes, I'd like you. How do you like your new garden? Oh, well, I may take up all those flower beds and turn it back to lawn. Ah, the only thing is you'll need a lawnmower. Oh, we've got one. There's one in the garden shed. No, I'm sorry. That, that, that one's mine. Yeah. Yours? Yes. Terry lent it to Frank Wilson before he left. So when it's convenient, I'll pop over, pop over and pick it up and you can borrow it any time you like. Well, I was looking at our inventory only this morning and I remember it said garden shed, 18-inch mower and grass pot. Yes, yeah, that, that's it. That's, it. that's oh, the one. Good. Terry wants to start cutting the grass this weekend. Oh. Not, I'm afraid, with this mower. Why? Well, because it's on our inventory. But it's our mower. Oh, my dear girl, I don't dispute that for one moment. Oh, good. It, uh, <laughs> but I'm afraid it's on our inventory and I've signed for it, you see, old boy. When am I going to get my lawnmower back? Well, it's really awfully difficult. Uh, I'm afraid I can't let that mower leave our premises, old boy. But what do you expect me to do? Roll my lawn up and bring it over for a quick trip? <laughs> I know. Why don't you write to Frank Wilson and ask him to confirm that it was put on our inventory by mistake? <laughs> well, he's out in Saudi Arabia. And he's travelling around. Good Lord, he must stop sometimes. Yeah, could, could take weeks. I mean, my grass will be up to my elbows. <laughs> Terry, I've got an idea. Yes, dear? Why don't you buy a new lawnmower? That one's nearly had it anyway. That lawnmower is in perfect condition. It is in tip-top condition. Oh, boy. <laughs> Evening. Ah, this is your mower, I take it? Yes. It won't start. Well, it's been out in the shed all winter. Well, the petrol tank should have been drained. I've written to Frank Wilson. Good. I suppose you couldn't lend it to me for a bit. I'm sorry, it's not mine. Well, I know it's not yours. It's mine. Then it's a great pity you don't maintain it properly. What do you think you're doing? I've wrenched my knee. You deliberately kicked my lawnmower. I'm trying to start it. You kicked it. Serve it damn well right. 
How dare you? How dare he what? He kicked my mower. <laughs> you always kick it. Well, that's different. It's my property. If you lay one more finger on my mower, I'll sue you. Oh, don't talk rubbish. Rubbish? Yes, rubbish! Uh, uh, there you are. I've started it. <laughs> then kindly stop it. I will not have you wearing out my lawnmower. Terry, there's no need to shout. You don't want the neighbours to hear. Well, it's the neighbours I'm shouting at. <laughs> Just come inside. June, if he can't hear me out here, he won't hear me inside, will he? <laughs> I'm going to see my solicitor. Waste of money, old chap. You haven't a leg to stand on. We'll see who's got a leg to stand on. <laughs> June! Hello. Yeah, that, that's not my coat, is it? Uh, no, it belongs to your nephew, Alan. Alan? Yes. He wants to know if he can stay a couple of days. That's all we need. What could I say? How about, no, it's very inconvenient. I just said I'd ask you. I see. So you can tell him. Oh, honestly, Jim, what, what can I tell him? How about, no, it's very inconvenient? I'm not frightened to tell him. Hello, Uncle. Mm. All right, if I stay a couple of days. Well, Alan, no, it's, it's very, very... Very what? Very much up to your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, cos I'm unpacked. He is my nephew. Oh. Auntie was telling me about your lawnmower, Uncle. Yes, did you see a solicitor? No, I haven't had time. Mind you, I've had a few dealings with solicitors. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Cost you a bomb nowadays. You've no idea how much some of them charge. And for what it costs to hire a solicitor, you could buy a new lawnmower. Anyway, there may be a letter on its way back from Saudi Arabia. Mind you, I do know a chap who may be able to help you there. Why, is he a postman? <laughs> no, he used to be a solicitor. Well, what, what is he now? Well, now he's what you might call an ex-solicitor. Oh. And what exed him? Oh, he got into a bit of bother. You mean he's a crook? Good heavens, no, Auntie. Certainly not. Not since he came out. <laughs> I mean, for a couple of quid, he'll tell you anything you want. Well, that's very reasonable. I mean, you can't buy a new lawnmower for two pounds. Really June, be... June, we must not be against this man because of his past. I mean, he's paid his debt to society, and we should do all in our part to help him rehabilitate himself and hold his head up high and dispense legal advice at very low terms. Now, I'll go and see him. <laughs> well, that's the point. You can't go and see him because he doesn't have an office. But he will come and see you. Well, it's even better. And when can he come? I'll give him a ring now. <laughs> Mr Bedford? Uh, yes. Uh, young Alan tells me you need a bit of legal assistance. Uh, yes. Would you come here? Yes. <laughs> Have you been nicked yet? <laughs> Certainly not. Oh, that's good news. Have they got a warrant out for you? No. Oh, well, you're home and dry. What's the, uh, what's the bother then? Well, I'm in slight dispute with my next door neighbour over a lawnmower. Is that all? Well, it's enough, isn't it? <laughs> What was all the rush for? I got called away from a very important game of poker. And I was ahead and all. Well, that's, that's the time to leave, isn't it, when you're winning? That's uh, true enough. <laughs> Don't create a very good impression, though. Do it. Yeah. Well, shall we go in here? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop long, mind you. Would you, would you like to take a chair? Well, well I sit down, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I shall explain my position in all its details, because it is rather complex. In that case, Make it a fiver. Make, make what a fiver? Just give us a fiver. What for? Legal advice. Hang on a minute. I'm, what legal advice? The legal advice, what I'm about to give you. Well, couldn't I hear it first? <laughs> now, listen, mate, you can't trust nobody. The world is full of sharks, con men and twisters. Is that the advice? No. <laughs> no, it isn't. That's why I want my money first. Yeah, but... I may not consider your advice to be worth five pounds. Exactly. You've put the nail right on the head, haven't you? <laughs> After I've given you the advice, I can't really take it back now, can I? Yeah, I can see that. Well, time is money. If I hang around here much longer, it'll cost you a tenner. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll take a chance then. <clears throat> right.
For a moment, I thought it was a bit dodgy. Oh. Looks quite genuine. Oh, glad, because the early ones we made were a bit smudgy. What? <laughs> it's a joke! <laughs> Not where I come from. <laughs> now, what's the problem? Well, I lent my lawnmower to the man next door, and he's moved, and he's let his house furnished, and the new tenant won't give me my mower back. We'll go in there and repossess it. But he won't give it me. We'll go in when he's not there. Can he go in into his shed and take the mower when, he, when he's not there? That's it. Uh, it. Isn't that illegal? Not if it's your mower. But it's his shed. Well, don't nick his shed. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the mower. As long as it's legal. Oh, it's dead legal. And don't get caught taking it. <laughs> Once you've got it back here, you're laughing. Possession is nine points of the law. Mm. So you don't think I should sue him for it? Oh, no. If he don't like what you've done, let him sue you. Is that the lot, then? Well, I suppose so. Yeah. Well, I'll be off. Oh. Back to the old game of poker. Mm. Nice to have met you. <laughs> nice. Hang on, did you, did you drop this? Certainly not. <laughs> You're not coming on to that, Uncle? No, no, no. Not till we get it back. Otherwise, you might try and talk us out of it. Right, I'm with you. No. Look, I've planned the whole thing in my head. And once we start, it has to work like clockwork. Right. See, we've got to think of this as a commando operation. Organised down to the last tiny detail and running smoothly like a well-oiled machine. Now, oh, sorry. Shh. Now, I have drawn a scale plan of their garden next door, mm -hmm. showing the way of entry and where the uh, shed is. And the plan... Where is the plan? It was here somewhere. And... Not on the floor, is it? No, I... it's here. You put things down, they suddenly disappear. You haven't eaten them, have you? No. <laughs> I mean, it, I was just doing the, the, the uh, flower beds in green. Well, here's the green felt pen. But where's the plan? I mean, the whole essence of this thing is utter and complete secrecy. June finds out we've had it. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, what's that on the back of it? Cheese straws. It's food. Six and a half ounces of flour, three and a half ounces of butter, one and a half ounces of parmesan and gruyere cheese. Oh, I left the recipe in here, then. No, I don't think so, dear. Yes, I did, dear. Alan's got it. Melinda wanted to borrow it, so I'm just going to pop next door with it. Well, that's great, isn't it? Auntie's taking the plans in next door. I know, I know that. But they won't know what it is, will they? I mean, it's just a plan of their back garden. What's next, then? Next is phase two. Which, which we can't do while Auntie June is hobnobbing with the enemy next door. So phase two, later. Oh, I'll have some more cornflakes, then. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hello? Tarquin Spry? Yes, speaking. Who's that? Uh, this is the uh, Pearly Geographical Society. <laughs> we hear that you've been living out in Mexico. Oh, yes, yes, for the past three years. Yes. Well, we were wondering if you and your dear lady wife would like to come round and give us a talk about it. Well, yes, we, we'd love to. What aspects of Mexico would you like to hear about? Oh, anything you like, uh, your experiences, uh, the altitude, <laughs> what they drink, things like that, you know? Uh, shall we illustrate it with some of our home movies? Oh, yes, they'd love that. Oh, and we've got some... <laughs> we've got some tape recordings of Mexican music. Oh, even better. Yeah. When can you come? Well, would uh, next Wednesday be too soon? Oh, yes. Sooner the better, yes. Uh, uh, 30 Willow Drive. All right. Let's say next Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Oh, good. I'm sure they'll enjoy that immensely. <laughs> Adios, caballero. Hey. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you doing? Oh, I was just phoning the post office about the telephone. There's a nasty smell of, of burning rubber. <laughs> Either there or under the floorboards. It, it really is awful. That's shocking. <laughs> Yeah. Don't forget we've got to give that lecture this evening. Oh, I shan't forget. I just thought I'd rig up the speakers for the housewarming on Saturday. Who are we asking next door? Might as well. And I think he's still annoyed over that mower. Oh, get him in here. Throw a few drinks into him. You'll soon forget about all that. All right. I'll pop in and ask them later on. Mm. Do come in. No, no. I've just come round with some homemade tortilla. You know what to do with them, don't you? 
Well, I think so, yes. Oh, good. Now, the other thing is, would you like to come to our housewarming party on Saturday? Oh, well, I'd better check with Terry. He may be busy. Yes, you mean he may still be sulking over that stupid lawnmower? Yes. Mm. Oh, well, make him come. You'll love it. We're having it in the garden, Mexican style, with a barbecue, fireworks, Mexican dancing. Oh, it sounds splendid. Oh, good. We'll see you on Saturday. Can't stop. Adios. Hasta la vista. <laughs> I expect so. <laughs> <laughs> They should be leaving soon. Why? Right. right. So, tell you what, uh, go and sit in the living room with the lights out and uh, keep watching. As soon as you say uh, Tarquin and his missus leave, come, come and let me know. Where will you be? I should be in the kitchen. I remember, be bold, be silent, be resolute. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Oh. Are you going jogging? Uh, yes, and Alan's coming with me. What on earth for? Well, you know, he wants to keep fit. He's fighting for putting on weight. Oh, I haven't noticed it. Well, no, but I mean, you know the way he eats. He's a compulsive eater. It's bound to turn to fat eventually. At least it should do if there's any justice in the world. <laughs> what on earth's that? Uh, homemade tortillas. Well, what is it? I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to look it up. Well, um, if you don't know what it is, how can you make it? Oh, I didn't make it. Melinda brought it for us. Oh, I wouldn't eat that. Probably made out of old cactus leaves. <laughs> Ready, Uncle? Well, I don't know what to do with them. Oh, sling them out. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that, Auntie. Don't go through food away. I'll eat it. Well, Alan, eat it when you come back, eh? What are they? Uh, tortillas. What's tortillas? Well, when you've had it, you'll know, won't you? <laughs> it's not bad. Just want a bit of jam on it. Oh. <laughs> Alan, are you coming or aren't you? Hang on a minute. Ah, Mara. Oh. I can eat this as we go. Oh. I shan't be long. Uh. <laughs> oh. What are you wearing that for? You don't want to be recognised. <laughs> oh, you've got your name embroidered on it. Yeah, well, it's my handkerchief. My girlfriend is going to be interested. Well, what's the point of wearing a mask with your name on it? <laughs> what shall I do then? Take it off. Now, look, I'll tell you once more what we've got to do. I have removed all the nails from the fence panel. It's just wedged up. All we have to do is give it a tug, and lower it gently, and it's into their garden, into the shed, out with the mower, back through the fence, and stick the panel back up. Is that clear? Yes, Uncle. The whole operation should not take more than 43 seconds, during which we move in utter and complete silence. Utter and complete silence. Not another word till we're back here with the mower. Right. I'll go and see if the coast is clear. <laughs> is that you, Uncle? Will you shut up? <laughs> In the noise. Follow me and be quiet. <coughs> Is that the police? Well, you see, I'm all alone in the house, and I think there's an intruder in the garden. Well, somebody's knocking the dustbins over. <laughs> right, give it a quick tug. Okay. Well, why isn't it moving? Well, this head's free at the top, but it's jammed at the bottom. All right, we'll push it then. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they think it's a court. I don't know what they're doing, but somebody's screaming in agony. <laughs> no, it's not cats. Well, cats don't use bad language, do they? Oh, me fingers! Will you shut up about your fingers? I don't understand. I took all the nails out and it won't budge. <laughs> Shh. It's not me, Uncle. Well, shut up. Where's the torch? Oh, I thought you had it. I'll, I'll give up. I'll just give up. I've a good mind to pack the whole thing in. 
Well, I've got some matches. Well, light one. <coughs> I want the light in here. <laughs> what? Keep striking the matches. It just burnt my fingers. I'll shift these boxes out of it. It's under here somewhere. Squash fingers, Uncle. Turn the bloody light on. <laughs> we'll light a match and see. Right now, find the switch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turn it off again, you great idiot! The mower. Oh, well, I know when I'm licked. <laughs> oh, oh, I've heard a fair go in arms, but this is ridiculous. Look, switch those lights off and we'll make a run for it. I'll try and find the switch. <laughs> Came in through the hole in the fence. Shocking business last night, wasn't it? Dreadful. Yes, June told me all about it. I was out jogging. Yes. Of course, it was a gang at work. They deliberately sent us on a wild goose chase. That address they sent us to for the lecture turned out to be an all-night laundrette. <laughs> Luckily, before the thieves could break in, they accidentally set off our fireworks. The police think that scared them off. Mm, just as well. Yes, I suppose it was. Oh, by the way, had a letter this morning from Frank Wilson about the mower. So did we, so all's well that ends well. Mm. <laughs> Just as well I didn't take it to law. Yes, so I brought it over. It's outside. Uh, of course, you, you heard the fireworks set fire to the shed. What? 